Oh man, it's just about that time for Gazbot to be powering up! That's right, here we are, it's Gazbot, it's Twitch, it's Twitch Request Live. It is Friday, there goes Santa Claus, it is Friday, it is 5.32, so I'm starting uh, about two minutes late, so I apologize for that. I'll make it up to you at the end, give you an extra two minutes, don't even worry about it! We've still got our holiday theme going from last week, Christmas has come and gone, but it's still the holiday season, we still got New Year's coming up. Whoa, Erzuki already here with some flames and the gas bot. Okay, thank you very much. Erzuki, I thought he was really going to throw up that time. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody's going to throw up, but it's not me. I'll throw up my power. That's about it. Um, yeah, I changed the lights a little bit, and I added some more snow, and I changed the Santa interval, so he'll only be showing up about once every 20 minutes or so now, but he'll stay for a little longer. So what are we doing? We're doing Twitch Request Live. Um, right now, I just have a snowscape, so I'm going to go ahead and share my uh, Photoshop with you fine folks, because if I don't do that, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, your intro video. Oh, yes, yeah, so my intro stream starting soon. Sometimes I... Yeah, so you never know. Maybe maybe it'll change next time. Probably not, but, you know, it's worth watching for as long as you possibly can. All right, let me quickly find what I'm doing. Window capture, that's what we're looking for. And we need to pick our Photoshop. I should have had this already set up, but I didn't. And forgive me for that. But now you see. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so. Uh, oh, I got to make that bigger. Something got changed. I don't know why. One second, let me try to, nope, see, that's, you see me moving on my Christmas? That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move my window capture. Nope. Oh, this, we're off to a great start. Once again, technology, not always my friend. <laughs> not always my friend. Uh, well, let's see what happens if I go in here and start drawing. Do things show up? No, for some reason, it's not showing all of that. So, see, I had this all set up before. I don't know why I need to change anything, but I'm going to try one more time. Pick a different Photoshop window do 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 and let's see what i say done nothing good all right anybody want to fix this for me i'll fix it myself let me try one more time window capture photoshop see it's it's just grabbing my toolbox instead of the image oh here we go this will fix it there we go i fixed it everybody it's fixed and i think if i move this no it does lose it okay but that's fine so now you can see what i'm doing and what i'm doing is drawing so I'm going to open my layers, have a layer background. I'm going to make that actually white. I actually drew on it. So there we go. Lock that, put a layer above it. So uh, I am taking requests, of course, uh, but in between taking requests, I am going ahead uh, and sketching my own things. It's all sketching. None of it's finished art. Uh, and I'm going ahead and hold on a second. Tech oh, tech support's here, but tech support's too late because I already solved it. Thank you, though. Erzuki is my in-house tech support. I have figured out the fix. Luckily, I used my brain juice. Well, I guess you don't need me anymore. Ah, she just turned into a frog at the end. That was very strange. I didn't know she had that ability. Anyway, hey, Mashdar, best day of the week. Well, thanks. It's good for everybody because hopefully it's the end of work. I know not every job ends on Friday, but the point is uh, I'm sketching. So I should get to sketching while I'm talking. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. A uh, brush that I can use and I'm gonna start off doing some sketches for myself and then I alternate between that and taking requests and I actually have some new commands hey what's up tech ops whoa thanks for the bots we're gonna call them gas bots I appreciate that and what is up is that I'm appreciating your robots uh, I've added some new commands some new exclamation commands you can see them below in the, the chat one of them is for requests there aren't rules for requests but it kind of let you know what might uh, be more likely to get chosen. And uh, I've also put in a, a fart uh, <laughs> command, so you could try that out and a few other social media. I'll probably keep adding some over time, but for now, I've only got a few in there. Uh, I'm going to bring my size up to about 100 right now. Hey, Danny F9, or just Danny. Hello, how are you this fine Friday? Got a good group of people starting off the stream here. And so this is going to be the first thing I'm doing, and I'm going to do it, as I said, uh, for me. I am working on I, I should say i will be working on a project there it is yeah yeah that's what we really needed a fart command and now that we've got it whoo that was amazing erzuki has sliced the breeze with a cheesy grin and a starry-eyed wink lovely <laughs> uh 
what is uh master where is my hello erzuki uh oh there's drama already um so for my first thing what i'm doing is i'm basically trying to do a quick construction of a room uh for a project i'm going to be working on hardcore starting the first of january it's a book i'm in a group called the 100s which is 100 days of making comics challenge and uh, about a year ago they put out an anthology they slash we put out an anthology and i contributed a pinup to it but not a not a full story and we're doing another one last time it was life in space this time it's called werewolves and unicorns that's just the theme and there's like you know 20 30 creators involved and over the course of 100 days we all do uh, a story a five page story and then it gets published so starting on the first we all kind of get work on it in earnest i have a rough idea of my uh let's see what uh, something in chat blah, blah, blah. master drama friday <laughs> Nauseous alien, Larry Krishna. Larry Krishna. Very well jobbed. Uh, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So starting the first – I have a rough idea of the outline of the story, and uh, but I haven't really done too much drawing. If you were with me a few weeks ago, I was doing some, like, werewolf uh, sketches, and that was – part of that was for this. Uh, so I'm trying to do some, like, pre-visualization, some pre-production type stuff for that story. Uh, and so part of it, it starts in a room of a child, uh, and that is kind of what I'm trying to visualize right now, just kind of the rough layout of it. But in the meantime, you could start throwing out requests uh, if you want to see me sketch anything. Again, not we're not doing finished art. It's all sketch work stuff. And, uh, and I'll take a look at the chat. And if I don't choose yours first, I might choose it second or third or whatever, so it never hurts to throw them out uh, at any point. There isn't a timeline. If you're curious about... Uh, what kind of stuff I normally take. One of the requests is an exclamation point request. It's a bit long, but basically it tells you about what we're doing today. And uh, it does recommend that you use all caps for requests because sometimes I scroll back through the chat. And uh, yes, it makes it easier to find. Uh, what's saying here? What do we got? Um, nauseous alien. When will we be taking commissions again? Um, I'm Yeah, I've been trying not to take commissions over the holiday season. I'll probably open up... I don't know. It's sort of a soft. I'm softly open now. Like I've I've taken some tiny ones that I didn't particularly have time for, but I took them anyway. Um, but they weren't on a deadline was the main thing because I was worried about hitting deadlines for holidays and such. Uh, probably I would say come February, I, I is when I'll be like actually wide open for commissions again. Um, but you know, if you have something in mind, you could contact me before then, um, and we could kind of get it lined up, just with the understanding that I'm not going to be getting to it until February. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. There's the TRL. Wow, that's a lot. I might have to. I might have to scale that down a bit. <laughs> well, thanks for testing it out. That's new. I do think that's more than uh, it should probably be there. Yeah, spam. For best results, keep it simple and clear. Th oh, it's still going. Yeah, I got to make that command shorter. <laughs> uh, nauseous alien. I have another turtle request. Oh, so I. Okay, I know who you are. I did not remember who you were based on this screen name, but yeah, hit me up. Let me know um, what you're doing. Uh, I, like I said, I probably won't be able to start anything until February, but if you want to get on the schedule, give me a deposit. We could get it like locked in before then. And I'm probably going to do one more pass over this. I'm not trying to get it real detailed. I'm just trying to get it in my, an idea in my head of how this room is laid out. So I will be either moving on to the next thing uh, of my own or doing a request if you guys have anything you want to see me try to do a quick sketch of. Uh, quite soon so again throw something in there the, the less requests there are the more likely you are to get chosen for the request i'm trying to remember this is actually supposed to be based on a real room and i'm just doing it in memory like what was in the room and it's like well there was a desk a bed a tv i think a poster a window i don't know maybe there's a i think there was a light on top oh, let's see uh mashtar that command is the way to clear chat yeah i that needs to be fixed that I, I, that was brand new. I didn't realize it would be so crazy. So apologies for that. <laughs> Not just saying that's fine. Okay, yeah. So uh, I believe you have my info, so you can hit me up. Uh, Danny says, please do skarmor Skarmory. Skarmory. Uh, and then I was saying, could you do a small sketch of a robot iPhone with a lightsaber? Uh, what's what's Skarmory? I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. C could you elaborate? Hey, 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 there's some farts. That always makes everything better. Good job, whoever's farting. Air Zuki, she's the gaseous one. All right, so I'm going to take this and bring it back down to 10. I'll take this layer, bring it down to 25. I'll do one more quick pass, and then I'll move on to requests, which got a few floating around in there. 
Oh, Skarmory is a Pokemon. Gotcha. Okay. I'll probably have to look that up because I don't know what Skarmory looks like off the top of my head, but that's a definite possibility. And the other... Well, I'll go back and double-check the chat in a minute. I know uh, I th iPhone... iPhone with a lightsaber, I think was said. I'm, my memory is so awesome. It was said like a minute ago and I already forget. All right, so this is some sort of clothes lying on the floor. And I think this is... I'm putting a carpet, but I, I think I want like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, but then with like a rug. And then again, here's the chair. I'm kind of just redrawing what I already drew to get it clear in my head. And then this is like a desk that has a drawer. And then a little cup of water or something. And then one of those old big CRT, you know, box televisions. Probably something here, like maybe like a cork board or something. I don't know. And then, yeah, this is sort of like one of those square glass lamps. And a window with a windowsill. Curtains, probably? I don't know. Curtains? Yeah, we'll put some curtains. And then one of those little baseboards, and then crown molding, or whatever they call that stuff. This is this, this is very sloppy, I know. I'm just trying to... It's like the equivalent of doodling, but to uh, figure some composition out. Okay, what do we say here? Uh, Nosh Salian figured out the fart. <laughs> That's how you fart on there. Uh, Danny, it's a steel flying from Gen 2. Okay, cool. And Nosh Salian figured out. There you go. All right, so let me finish up. I definitely feel like I'm missing some stuff here, but I'll probably need to come back and do another pass to kind of remember. Oh, there's probably junk under the bed. There's some junk under the bed. Maybe like an action figure lying on the floor. And I don't even know this is here, but I'm going to put some I don't know, junk shoes. And then a couple posters, little, little teeny posters down here. A couple big posters by the bed. And then, yeah, I don't even know what the ceiling was. I feel like maybe it was just textured. I don't know. We'll leave that for now. It's not very interesting, and I'm not getting very far with it. So we'll just go ahead and save that and move on to request time. Doop. Doop, doop, doop. All right. And I'll go ahead and clear all this. Yes. And I'll bring that up. All right. Now let me double check chat and see what we got here. So. Do, 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 do. So the request we got, robot iPhone, oh, the, thank you for repeating that, Nauseous Alien. Robot iPhone with lightsaber, whoa, Airzuki with 10 bot bits, some gas bot bits. Thank you for that, love. Uh, and then we got the, what was it? Steel Flying Alien from Gen 2? Oh, yeah, Skarman, Skarmory. Let me take a look at what Skarmory looks like. I don't know what he looks like. And uh, that, I think those are the only two requests I got. So depending on how cool Skarmory looks to me, I may choose that or I may do an iPhone with a lightsaber. Uh, Skarmory, pardon my look, I'm looking on the other screen for reference. Skarmory Pokemon, images. Oh, it's kind of like a bird, like a metal bird. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do a Skarmory. Only because he's metal. If he wasn't, if he wasn't a metal bird, I'd be less interested. But metal birds are pretty metal. Oh, and he's got like a hook. All right, so let me find a good reference here. Um, I'll here. I'll do what I usually do, and I'll copy this and show to you folks so you can see what it is we're talking about. This is Skarmory. Hi, I'm Skarmory. But -da 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 -da. I'm a Pokemon. All right, so we'll zoom out a bit, and then I will do a Skarmory. Let me get that reference back up. Actually, I think I saw a better one. Yeah, that's a better one. Okay, Skarmory, I choose you! Do 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 do. Oh man, I tried to open the picture and it went to a different picture. Hold on, sorry. Okay, there we go. So, as usual, I will grab kind of a red, light red color, and I'll get soft brush, 75% opacity at about 100. And then I'll make a layer, and this is just to get the rough scar, scar, I don't know why I have a hard, it's like Armory, Skarmory, Skarmory. I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time saying the name consistently. Uh, but this is just to kind of get the pose and the anatomy right. And he's got sort of backward elbow joints on his legs, like most birdos do. And then he's got some very specifically delineated wing feathers. Let me bring this, it's going to disappear for a second, I know. Me to do for some reason, yeah, I, that's one of the things I gotta figure out. Every time I disconnect the window from the top bar of Photoshop, it disappears so you guys can't see it, which is annoying because I prefer to disconnect it sometimes. So that's uh, that, along with cutting down on that, <laughs> that uh, list of spam that I accidentally created, I'll have to do both of those uh, before the next time. It's an ongoing process, I'm always trying to improve. 
Uh, let's see. Danny, he's the only bird in that game. 5'7 is how tall it is. That's a big bird. That's as, that's as tall as a person, 5'7. That's crazy town. All right, so we're going to take this and bring it down to 25. And then it's funny it's the only bird. I, I, I haven't really played much Pokemon since the original one, but there was a bunch of different birds. That one, I guess, uh, they became more rare or something later as time went on. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's see. He's got – actually, I want to make my reference bigger here. Do, 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 do. Why will he not open? Skarmory, where are you? Open link. Open image in new tab. That's what I need. Okay. There we go. Hi, Skarmony. And I'll make it a little bigger because I want to see the details on his face. So I'm going to save it. Sorry about this. I didn't, this is the problem of not having a reference ready. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now I'm able to zoom in better. Uh, F. Danny says the only bird that's steel type, not the only bird. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. So the only steel type bird in the game. Well, it's a good choice because I find a steel type better than a non-steel type when it comes to birds and most things. I mean, I am a Gazbot, Gazbot after all. You make something robotic, I feel like it automatically gets extra points. All right, so he's got. Oh, I see. So he, I messed that up. He's got kind of fangs coming out. But they're kind of built into his face. It's not like teeth. It's like his jaw kind of comes down and then back up like Sizzo. All right. And then I'll go ahead and give that. And then he's got a nice dome top here. Let me make sure I'm, I'm covering up chat. I just realized so I don't know if I'm missing anything. Nope. Okay, good. So bring the dome top around. He's got a fin like jaws. It's probably like a feather, but again, because it's metal, it, you know. And then this comes in, and he's got a, an eye that comes around there. And then it looks like, oh, he does have some teeth on the bottom. One, two, three. I think three on each side. And then what looks like a tongue, although I imagine it's a metal tongue, but it's it's pink. I'll put a little darkness in there. All right. I think I might have made his top a little bit too wide. I think i got to bring it down like that. Yeah, that's a little better. Okie doke. But then this line, it's like two pieces where it divided by his eyes right there. And then he's got a little bit more on the back of his head. So this piece comes down kind of like that. And then there's the jaw. All right. That's pretty close. Then he's got his, you know, what I realized though, as I'm doing this, I made that head way too big for the image area I'm going. So I'm going to shrink the whole thing down a little bit, bring it up. That'll help. And then I'll bring the neck down, which gets comes into like a big old wide kind of coil, I guess. You know, you can see it has like the the circles intersecting each other and going down. Uh, Danny says, it's based on a harpy eagle. It's it's a wall. Wait, it's based on a harpy eagle. It's a wall in the games. Okay. I don't know what a harpy eagle is, but it's probably pretty tough if this is what it's based on. So that's cool. I know what a harpy is, but a harpy eagle must be a, uh, a tough bird indeed. All right, so we got one... One, two, three. It looks like four segments to the leg. So I'll kind of do this and then back up. And the same on this side, but I don't think you'll see them all. You'll see kind of two. And that one gets cut off if we bring it up forward a little bit with the talons. I was going to say claws, but I guess talons is more accurate since it is a bird. And then that'll be like the bottom of the foot there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll bring claw. And we'll bring claw. And then this comes down. It's, again, claw talent. Same thing, but, you know. And then the top of the bird, it's kind of got like a, an egg shape on the whole thing. Like, if it wasn't for the head and the legs and stuff, it wouldn't be intimidating at all. It's got like this cute little egg shape, but then it's got all these pointy metal parts. And I'm going to move this so I can see the chat a little bit better. Excuse me. Why can I not shrink this? I'm going to try to shrink it more. Good, I did it. <laughs> oh, but it makes chat disappear. Well, I'll do this. There we go. Okay. So uh, anyway, for those of you in chat, this is, like I said, a request thing. This is a request I'm doing right now. If you have any requests, throw them out. Uh, feel free to lurk too. That's totally cool. If you have any questions or you just want to chat about other things, that's fine too. Mostly people do requests, but I'm happy to talk about whatever. And let me see what this, the wings are kind of, okay, so the wings have, like, basically they have four feathers. Like, I have a top metal one, and then three, like, red ones underneath, but 
I don't know if they're metal, red metal or whatever, but they look different at the very least. And so it kind of goes here and connect that there. Do 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 do. And that comes down. All right. It's not as complicated as I first thought when I looked at them. Let's see. Danny says, uh, a real bird that eats monkey and sloth. Whoa, there goes Santa Claus. He must be going to his vacation home since obviously all the presents are delivered at this point. Um, that's a crazy bird that eats monkeys and sloths. Yeah, it must be yeah, it must be like the king of the bird jungle. Well, king of the, not even just the bird jungle, but the monkey and sloth jungle too, apparently. All right, let me look at that other wing to see if there's anything. Nope, okay. Oh, he does have a little bit of a tail. I don't know if we'll be able to see it from this angle, but I'll keep that in mind. Okay, and then one, two, and three. All right, there's the basics. I guess the tail kind of goes up like that. All right, so let me go ahead and get rid of that layer. And I'll bring this one down to 50 and do a quick cleanup. And I'll move it over a little bit too because I'm kind of falling off the page here. So bring it up a little bit like that. Maybe I'll shrink the whole thing a little bit so that I can make the wings a little bit bigger. I think I made the wings a little bit short, which might be how he is, but I think it'll look cooler if I make them a little wider. Just just the top ones mainly. Longer, I should say, not wider. And then same thing, finish that up. All right, so then I'll do a quick cleanup layer on top. And for that, we will go ahead and go actual black. And I will go hard round pressure size and bring the size of my brush down to 40 from 80 or thereabouts uh, what's going on somebody in chat hey hey it's dolly girl i didn't know if you're gonna make it this time dolly girl hiya i worked an early jet shift today what have i missed well not much i was uh doing a design on a room for a book Whoa! oh there it goes we have added a uh, fart command so that's one thing that uh, you've missed but now you got a little taste of it oh i hope you didn't get a taste of it uh but uh, yeah, I'm uh, right now. I'm working on a Pokemon, which was a request. Uh, but previous to this, I was working on a uh, just kind of conceptualizing a room design because I'm going to be doing a four-page story in a comic anthology starting January. So I was just sort of helping myself with some pre-visualization of that. Um, and that that's called uh, Werewolves and Unicorns, and it's all either werewolves or unicorns or both or just you know fantasy based. Uh, and that is a book that'll be. Uh, every, everybody working on it is starting hardcore come January 1st. So I was just doing a little bit of early homework. Let's see. Um, really, all you miss is this. Oh, that's what Aries is the fart. Don't know how the world how the world just got in there. Just woke up from a nap. Can't type. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. Uh, I, I'm glad you had a nap because obviously uh, you needed it. Everybody needs a nap, though. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody that ever does wouldn't be happy with a nap. What are you doing? Would you rather take a nap? Yes. Will you wait for me? Yeah, sure. Go have a nap. Then everybody's happy. Um, but yeah, I put a few uh, exclamation point commands in the chat, uh, one of which being fart. Uh, I also did one for the request, but uh, I didn't realize how spammy it becomes. So you probably don't want to try that one because it, it just is like several paragraphs <laughs> print out, which uh, was not my intention. But the fart one is safe. And then there's some social media ones and stuff like that. And we still got the Christmas theme going, of course, because, well, it's the holiday theme. It's not the Christmas theme because Christmas is over. So it's just holiday theme now. Although Santa once in a while does show up. We're not sure where he's going. Maybe to Aruba? China? Who knows? Maybe he's just out enjoying cruising without having to get anywhere at a certain time because his job is done. All right. And I'll probably put some color on this because it, like, well, you know, I always, I always talk about like, I'm not going to put color and then, well, this one needs color, you know, but Whenever it's like a more cartoony design, I feel like it has to have color. Um, and since we're not too crazy busy today with requests and stuff, I'll devote a little extra to it. We're doing okay on time. It's not even six yet, so I'll throw a little color in on top. Why not? This Pokemon Steel Bird type. Let's see. Erzuki says, Instagram. That's not one of the commands I have. <laughs> I think it's social, and it pops up four of my social media, including Instagram. Um, would it make more sense if I made them separate? I, I don't know. I thought keeping them all together would be easier, but given the uh, the wall of text problem, <laughs> maybe not. All right, let's get this big open mouth. Wow. I'm Scarborough. Not Scarborough. I already forgot his name. Scarmory. I'm Scarmory. Rock. Scarmory is here. Although, really, if it's Pokemon, it would just say Scarmony. Scarmony! Scarmory! Scarmory! 
probably not what it sounds like. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like. We're probably not that. Skamari! Should I just keep doing that? Is that a good way to get rid of all of my viewers? <laughs> Thanks, Dolly. Uh, Erzuki says, yeah, all together is fine. I just don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Uh, exclamation point social, I believe, is what brings it up. Uh, but it's at the bottom of my channel. I have the list right now. All right. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Good one, Mashdar. I, you know what I've realized is I think I need to have some variety. I think I might have to have, like, fart one, fart two, fart three. I might need to, you know, because while that's lovely, it, it could become repetitive if, if we don't give options. So, you know, for you, the fart public, I think I'll have to do that. Not for me. I don't even like farts, but, you know, the demand is there. I'll meet it. Whoa, what is happening? Samurai Ox showing up, blasting through, hosting the stream. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing up. The Ox Man cometh, the Ox Man shareth. So thank you very much for that. Uh, la 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 la. And then Danny says, uh, Skyrim is like Rodan in a way. Oh, that's cool. And he can't use fire moves though. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Rodan's always cool. Well, he's And he's metal, so he's like Mecha Rodan or something. Okay, bring that back. And I think I'm going to make my... Hold on, I don't like the way I did that eye. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller for those other detail lines, and I'll throw in some color. Then we'll move on. So I'm going to bring it down to 25, and put a little line there, and a little shine line on this Jim Jam to give it kind of a metal-y look. What's happening? Airzuki hosting the stream. Thank you very much. You are copying Samurai Ox. Uh, I will point that out. I appreciate what you're doing, but you were here watching for a while. Then Ox comes in with a share, and you're like, oh, yeah, me too. I don't mind. Your copying benefits me. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> uh, la, la, da, 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 da. Let's see. Airzuki, you will have to. Uh, we'll have to see if we can make it randomized. Yeah, that would be cool if the farts randomized. Dolly Girl is saying hi to Ox. Everybody's so nice. Samurai Ox, have you drawn Spider Gwen yet? In my life, I think once. Today, no. Uh, Erzuki, thank you for the host. Uh, hey, and Dolly Girl getting the, 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 I don't know what that is. It's a cat woman with a hat and tea, but it's nice, whatever it is. Uh, Erzuki is a cat who copies. It's, and Danny is telling me that the weight is 111 pounds. This is a heavy, a heavy bird, everybody. This bird is metal type. And, and the real-life inspiration kills monkeys and sloths. So this is not something to be messed with. You'd have to be some kind of samurai ox to be able to deal with this thing. All right, let me get in there with tongue, gloop. Oh, and actually, this line should be connected on top like that. Okay, and then i got to put the little ringers around his neck. It's got one, two, three, looks like. Two, three. I did that before, so I know I'm doing it right. Okay, good. And what am I missing? I think I got... All that, got that. Maybe I'll just put, nope, 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 nope. I'll just continue this line here and then connect these lines. For these other sort of feather, they, I guess they're like razor feathers. Like makes me think of like Archangel from the X-Men. All right, and I'll erase that. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer because I made it lighter than I intended to. So what I do, the opacity is at like 75%. So I'll duplicate the layer. Whoa, Tech Ops now hosting the stream. Thank you very much. I, I, there's a lot of copycatting, but it's a good way. It's like when someone gives you a tip and then the next three people give you a tip, I'm fine with it. So thank you very much for all the rehosts and, and copying of cats and cats who copy. I'm gonna merge that down. Cool, and then I'm just going to throw in some color. And it looks like uh, Scarbony is mainly sort of a gunmetal grayish bluish. So I will primarily do that. And the way we do that is to select contiguous. And select everything around it, and that little hole there, and that little hole there. And then we select inverse, and then we select modify, contract by three pixels. And we put a layer underneath, and then we'll fill it with a bucket. Bloop. Didn't quite get the other wing because those lines weren't connected, but still did most of the work for us, so that's good. And i got to bring this. Br now I'm using a pencil instead of a brush for coloring. Let's see what's going on here. Uh... Samurai Ox, that's my request for the evening, with or without a mohawk, up to you. <laughs> All right, so we got a Spider-Gwen request. I, I can tell you right now I'm not going to do a mohawk, because I've done two mohawks in the last two weeks. So I think I'm going to, unless it's a character that normally has a mohawk, I think I'm going to hold off on that. So I thank you for the option. Uh, and Erzuki with the cheers, five cheer bits, thank you very much. Samurai Ox says, wait for it. Uh-oh, wait for it. I don't know what we're waiting for. I'm going to grab a darker gray 
for the neck piece here. And also the feet in a second. Scarmony has lots of gray. Metal gray. Death from above gray. Rodan-like gray. All right, so there's those. And oh, also the tail is that color as well. Cool. And then to mix it up, Scarmony has red wings. Blood red from the sky coming down to ruin your day. It's Scarmory. All right. And we'll fill that in. Actually, you know what I should do is select this so that I don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines except for on one side. See, I can't accidentally do that. Makes my life easier. Choo 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 choo. Scarmony in the sky. Wings of red, you're gonna die if you're a monkey or a lemur. I'm kind of mixing up the real life inspiration with the Pokemon now. That's fine. It's all good. All right, and then we got the pink inside the mouth, which is not the same color as the red, but I will use that as a base and color that in there so that it matches subconsciously. And then the tongue, of course, is going to be a brighter pink, but the same basic color, just a lighter shade. Yes. And then the eye is, oops, got a little sloppy there. And then the eye is yellow, kind of a bright yellow right there. Cool mode D. And then I'll just do a quick cell shade on top of everything. Select, 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 inverse, same as we did before. I'm gonna check chat in one second. Let me say, uh, Danny, look at my bird. Skarmory seals Pokemon, wait. Skarmory seals Pokemon to its nest to eat them. Jeez, okay, so the Pokemon and the real life bird are both pretty tough, pretty uh, unforgiving. So you don't wanna mess with them. That's what we've learned. All right, I'm gonna grab an almost black, but it'll actually be slightly purple, just for giggles and poopies. All right, so we'll go 60, and actually maybe I'll go 100 on the pixels for the brush is what I'm saying. And then we'll put some in here. Oh, but I wanted that to be 100%. I want the opacity on the brush to be 100%, and then I'll lower the opacity on the layer later. And chat is saying, Diane Glitter says, Pokemon. Yes, Diane Glitter, this is a Pokemon. It's a Generation 2 Pokemon called Skarmory. It's one that I wasn't particularly familiar with, but now I know quite a bit about. It's a metal type bird, the only metal type in the game. It's based on a real bird, which I forgot the name of, but it eats uh, monkeys and sloths. And uh, yeah, it's one tough, tough little bitty over here. And I'm just going ahead and putting in the shading. Thanks for joining us, by the way, Diane and everybody. All the uh, lurkers, all the chatters, all the requesters, you're all welcome here in the land of the Gazbot. Gazbot Lane. Uh, Diane is saying, hello. oh yeah, Scarmony. Oh my gosh, what is Samurai Ox doing? He's saying, wait for it again. Something's going to happen. Oh, something else happened. Tacops cheered with 100. Whoa, look at you. Look at you. You're the top cheerleader. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tech Ops. You are a champion of the world and a bringer of dreams and a captain of the guard. And now Samurai Ox is subscribing. Holy potatoes. Things are going crazy. Wow. I see what I was waiting for now, and it was worth the wait. I'm throwing up the ox horns. Mm, 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 mm. Samurai Ox. Subscriber su super. You guys are like competing. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't be happy with both of you quick enough. You're all thrilling me with your lovely, lovely validations <laughs> all right let me go ahead and take this and bring it down to 50 percent and i'll go down to 25 50 is too much but i do think choosing a slight purple was a good idea and then i'll clean that up a little bit because i made it a little too sloppy but that's okay and then we'll move on from here in just a moment chat's going crazy you guys are going crazy thank you very much uh ever thought it was gen 3 uh, wait, thanks, Danny. Ever thought it was Gen 3? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I'm going by what you said, Danny. You said it's Gen 2, but uh, maybe you said it was Gen 3 and I misunderstood. My bad. Uh, badass Bird, says Diane Glitter. Tech Ops, yeah, with the cheers. Crazy awesome. Samurai Ox, with the subscription. Also crazy awesome. And then uh, Heavy Metal. Yeah, I need to get a, like a button. Like, and then uh, Erzuki blasting out her emotes because she's already a subscriber. She's got the Gazbot. Okay. Wait. Okay. Now let's see some copycats. Oh, look at that. The challenge has been thrown. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Dan Glitter with the purple hearts. Thank you very much. Samurai Ox with the okay. Fresh, fresh off the box. Out of the box. Fresh off the box. Fresh out of the box. Okay emotes flying at me from Samurai. Thank you very much. 
Samurai, that's weird. I should call you Ox. <laughs> I shortened your name in a different way. All right, I'm because he's metal, uh, he's done, but I'm going to put a highlight layer just because he's metal, and I'll go in and soften this in a moment, but just to make sure he really what is metal, just because he's metal. See, the metal riff would work there, too. It'd be like, thanks for the subscriber. And they'd be like, this guy's metal. I was earlier talking about uh, the 100 Days of Making Comics and the anthology that I'm going to be a part of. Uh, Samurai Ox is also a part of the 100s. He is also an artist extraordinaire, and he is a an ox of honor that draws with passion. All right, there we go. I, and, uh, I guess I should put a little color behind it. I'll just put a tiny... I'm not going to go crazy, but I'll just put a little bit of yellow tint maybe. Maybe to match the eyes a little bit. Do, 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 do. Uh, Erzuki, whoa, Tech Ops! Danny, uh, the champion of Gen 3 has one of... One on his team, it's rare to find in the wild. 1% to find, 1% to catch. It. Wow, okay. Crazy. Uh, Erzuki, why no sub alert? I thought I had alerts for everything, um, but as you could tell, I'm, I'm constantly changing things around, so I may have accidentally disabled something. So the sub alert is me going, yeah! <laughs> uh, Summer X, you're going to need to need all the fun toys Zooks. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I know. Zooks has the stream labs and stuff. I could live without the, the lights. I could... The green screen would be cool. I could live without the lights. I think the stream the, the, the stream box or whatever you call it, that is pretty awesome. I'm a little bit jealous, I gotta admit. Cause I gotta still do everything manually. But she's you know, she's always been more advanced than me. She's like months and years ahead of me and everything. So I'll I'll catch up eventually. I, if I had all that those toys right now, I wouldn't know what to do with them. They'd be wasted on me. I'm still figuring out how to do at commands and doing that badly. So uh, let me see, fifty percent. And I'll throw a little bit of this and actually this layer this is too dark i'll go ahead and lighten it in a minute and then we'll call this dunzo doop 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 all right bring that down to 25 and eh, 50 this could be 50 there we go all right file save as we'll call it scarmony done scar scarmory scarmory i keep saying it wrong i don't know why scarmory there he is christmas scarmony Skarmory, Skarmory. Why, why can't I say it? Ugh, I'm the worst. All right, let me clear that. Let me take a sip of water. Double check chat. Ox says that seems reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to do a quick one for myself, and then I'll come back to requests. I know there's a few in there. Feel free to add more. Um, I'm going to do... What am I going to do? I'm going to... I was looking at the room, and I think that was messing up, but I think what I'll do is... Think about the character of the kid. Once again, I want to make this smaller. I think, uh, hmm. Cloop. I'm going to change the canvas size is what I will do. And I'll make it 11 by 17 the other way. I guess I could have just rotated canvas, whatever. Proceed. Okay, that's more the format I'm looking for. The orientation, I should say. Unlock. Come on, I don't want it to be locked. There we go. All right, now I want it to be locked. So I'm going to go ahead, grab the color and the soft brush, and go back to where we were a minute ago. 75%. Rolly Revolver. Oh, my God. Hi. Well, I will say, oh, my God, hi, back to you. Thanks for stopping in, checking out the things. We're doing requests. We just did a Pokemon. We got a few requests in there, but nothing set in stone yet. Right now, I'm just doing a quick sketch design of a character kid character i have in mind in between requests let's see do 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 glasses big stupid glasses yep and a nose and a little mouth and ears and a really dumb poofy haircut that's parted in the middle for some reason okay and i'm going to reduce this whole thing a little bit goo do goo do goo a little more goo and this whole body area should be bigger and doughier. And then these shorters. And then hands. I'll just go straight down. There we go. And something on the t-shirt. And we'll take this all down to 25%. Oops. Trying to take it down to 25%. Come on. Don't fight me, you. And then we'll bring this. Get a darker shade. And bring it down to... Well, actually, we'll go to hard round pressure size. And bring it down about 60. That was at about 80. Let's see. Roll really revolve. Uh... Oh, so Ox and Rolly saying hi to each other. Rolly, at last, I, I at last, I at least caught a stream. Last. No, I was right. I read it correctly, corrected myself, and then was corrected in the chat. Yeah, well, thanks. I, I'm glad you were able to catch a stream. Feel free to throw a request out. 
You never know. You might get chose. Or you could ask me other questions or talk to me about whatever your heart's desire, whatever your mind is conjuring. I don't know why I'm talking with this accent. It just happened and now I can't stop. Okay, I'm out of it. Woo, that was close. All right, so a little nose action. And kind of a pouty mouth. And I think, oh, there goes Santa. He's going away. He's going to the toy store to buy toys for himself now. He's getting some Masterpiece Transformers and some SH Figure Arts and uh, all the expensive stuff is what he's doing. And he's going to put that on his shelf. Mrs. Claus is going to be like, good job. You earned it. You are out there. Why do I keep going to an accent? Everybody has an accent. I don't even know what that accent is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dolly, don't worry. I can't type either. Yeah, <laughs> we're all having a rough time. I was having technical difficulties before. People can't type. My accent keeps appearing and disappearing. It's a mess. Oh, I know. The shirt should be tucked in maybe? I think maybe I could tuck the shirt in. Maybe that, I, I'll, I'll, that's an interesting idea because it's stupid and I want it to look stupid. There we go. Yeah, that's worth that's worth looking at. Uh, let's see. Erzuki, Red Fraggle is my request. Oh, that's that's an interesting one. Diane Glitter, Santa baby. Yeah, I don't think that's a request. I think you're just shouting out to Santa. And then uh, Dolly Girl's loving the Fraggle Rock. What's happening? Uh... Tech Ops request Warhammer 40K, Space Marine. Oh, no. And he accidentally triggered my request. <laughs> this is going to go on for a while. I apologize. I set this up today, and I kind of did a bad job, obviously. Uh, your, your request uh, is – I will take note of your request, but, yeah, I made a mistake with that. So sorry about it. It's done now. <laughs> I'm trying new things. Sometimes I mess up. You know, that's all part of the learning process. Make sure some big old chunky ham hocks down there. And then these should be like – 80s, 90s jams shorts, so they have like all kinds of crazy designs on them that make no sense. And some pudgy arms. Okay. Oh, and the big dumb glasses, right. He has my glasses. They're made of plastic all the way around. And Nope, no pimples yet. That's too young for that. A little bit of a chin. And then definitely pimples later, but not at this point. Some kneecaps. What would be on this shirt? Maybe Garfield. I'd have to. I'll have to look up a uh, reference to make it look like a good Garfield. Oh, actually, that's, I'm actually pretty impressed how well I did that Garfield out of my head. I didn't think it would come out that good. It's not perfect or anything, but I didn't think I'd even get that close. And then, like, I don't know, a sun or something. <laughs> All right. So let me take this and uh, get rid of this layer completely. And I'll take this and. Uh, you know, I'll just throw some color on it, I think. I don't think I need to redraw it anymore because it's, again, just concept. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we got. Tech Ops. Wait, what did I do? The bot! <laughs> Erzuki, not your fault. Tech Ops, Gazmus, Miss Command. Yeah, I added some new commands. That was one of them, but uh, it created this wall of text that I absolutely did not mean to do. So that is not your fault. I apologize. Uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I, do get, I did get your request, though, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, I'll try to finish this up quickly since now we've got a few more requests than we had earlier. I'll try to get to as many as I can. So go pencil. I'll do a Caucasian skin tone. Actually, I think this is too dark. I think i got to go lighter. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So yeah, I, I have I know Spider-Gwen was one of the requests, and uh, Q and I, uh, Erzuki and I recently saw... Into the Spider-Verse, which I highly recommend if anybody hasn't seen it. It was really good. One of the best superhero movies they've made. Funny and, and you know, dramatic and everything. And the animation style was really cool and different. Uh, and it was, yeah, it was, I feel like it's accessible to everybody, but it was definitely, like, the most comic book feeling movie uh, yet. You know, like, it was, it, it, it was so ridiculous and out there and, like, kind of convoluted in a great way. That, like, I mean, it's easy to follow, but it, the places it went, like I could see live movies being afraid to like you know so I recommend it and Erzuki yeah not your fault okay cool oops I forgot the skin on the legs <laughs> the legs need skin everybody that can't just be paper what are they hanging out with Puff the Magic Dragon little Jackie Paper he loved that rascal Puff I didn't realize that there was any um marijuana like overtones to that song until I was like I don't know 30 <laughs> like I, I mean i was definitely a full-on adult having sung it as a kid a million times and then one day somebody and i had to have it pointed out to me i don't think i even figured it out someone's like yeah you know paper puff the match i'm like what 
I always thought it was about just a dragon and his buddy. And, I mean, Jackie Paper is a weird name, but whatever. He's hanging out with a dragon. He's not a normal kind of kid. I didn't think about it too much. And if there's anybody out there that also didn't know that just found that out now, you're welcome. All right. And I feel like this shirt should not be white. Maybe blue? Yeah, we'll go blue. Oh, I am blue bloodedly. And I'm going to be done with this one pretty soon. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. And then we'll go into request zone. So I'll be hitting up the chat, seeing what's in there. As I always say, uh, if you have a request in there, uh, I, I try to see all of them, but it helps. Uh-oh, something's happening. Notorious LB3 is now following. Welcome aboard. Another artist pal of mine, worth uh, worth his weight in, in fire equipment. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for stopping in. And in oh wait was I missed a chat Tang glitter l yeah laughing at me for not realizing Puff was about marijuana and uh, notorious you will be getting an upgrade cyborg kit coming in the mail don't fight it it is the future it is for the best so thank you very much and I hope you enjoy your upgrade and oh I need to put a little yellow for the sun up here and then hair will go sort of a light brown almost blonde kind of color like this. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Cool. And then I'll put just a little bit of bluish white for the glasses. And then maybe a little bit of pink highlight for the nose. As, as I'm doing this, I realize that the comic I'm going to be using for the, the, the potentially this character will be in is going to be black and white. So I didn't need to color it, but it, it helps visualize sometimes doing it that way. Like even if it's not going to be in color, like just knowing, you know, visualization, that's all I'm saying. Uh, and, and if I'm doing grayscale, like knowing what color it should be, lets me know what color gray to pick, etc. All right. So, yeah, I think I'll, I'll call that done for now. That's just a quick little concept sketch, so I'll save that as boy1, and I'll erase all that, and then I'll look at the chat and see what we're going to do for our next request. I'm trying to go a little faster this week than last week. I think I only got four done last week, which wasn't good. I'm usually more like six, uh, and it's 620, so we're doing okay. I've done three. Uh, Notorious, been meaning to follow for a while. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you and everything about you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to scroll up the chat here. Oh, let me close this Skarmory window. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so somebody said iPhone with a lightsaber, an Australian, and then doop, doop, doop. Some more talking. Everybody's saying hello and being nice peoples and copycats. Uh, oh, Samurai said Spider Gwen. Okay. And then Erzuki said Red the Fraggle. And then Tac Ops. Oh, wait. Rally Revive. Rolly did not request anything. Okay. Tac Ops wanted a Marine from Warhammer 20K. Wait, was it? Wait, hold on. I know it's something. Warhammer 40K Space Marine. So we got Spider Gwen. Well, I'm. I'll keep those others in mind, and they, I might get to them, but I think I'm going to go Spider-Gwen, because I did just see the movie, and it is fresh on my mind. Um, that doesn't mean the others will not get to, possibly later, and that doesn't mean you can't throw out more requests as well, but I'm going to go ahead with Spider-Gwen. Um, like I said, because I just saw the movie, so can't resist. But, oh, you know what? I'm going to – I could probably do it out of my head, but I'm going to pull up a reference anyway, because I wanted to get the version from the Spider-Verse that might be a little different than the comic version. Spider-Verse – when I'm pulling it up now, doop, 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 images. Okay. Oh, it does actually pull up the comic and the movie. Oops. So the question, I was going to do hood up, but the spider, like, she looks very similar until she has the hood down because she has like a cool haircut. So maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do hood down. So it's more definitive as the version from the movie. All right. We'll see what happens. Let's, let's go with this. As I said before, I'm not great at likenesses, but it's a cartoony likeness, so maybe I'll do okay. And let me see what we got here. Uh, Diane Glitter is saying, yay. Summary Ox is happy. Oh, yeah. Plus, it's in your request remote. That's true. It is in my request remote because it probably was in my head. Uh, and Erzuki is saying hello to Notorious. All right. So 
let's go with, uh, oh, got to bring this up a little bit and bring that down. So we'll get a little closer, don't be shy. So since I'm doing the unmasked face, I will kind of do a mostly, like, chest up picture even though she's a spider character and the thought would be to have her swinging around i kind of wanted to look at the face more so that's my choice and that's what i'm going to go for okay and she's sort of got a tilted attitude -y kind of thing and the other arm i won't worry about the other arm samurai ox an undercut is pretty close to a mohawk ah shut your butt <laughs> you're close to a mohawk well you are close to a mohawk that's true Ox is a, a big uh, proponent of mohawks all the time, everywhere, forever, apparently. Which is fine. I, I, I like a mohawk too, but it doesn't always uh, undercut. You don't have to make an undercut a mohawk. Um, undercut's its own thing. Plus, it's, it's, I'm not, was it undercut on both sides? I thought it was just undercut on one side. Because it was sort of like, oops, it's a mistake, but then she made it cool. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking the, uh, the haircut vernacular. But, you know, what do you, I got to talk while I'm drawing here. I got to say something. Let's see. Uh, undercut of the Diane Glitter. Well, well, no, she's swinging. <laughs> and Ox laughed appropriately at that comment. All right, so she's got her eyebrows. Kind of like, what's up with you? I'm a spider woman. It's funny because, like, everybody calls her Spider Gwen, but I, I, I guess she goes by Spider Woman because she's, like, Spider Man in her universe, so she's Spider Woman. But to differentiate in our minds as comic readers and as, you know, people that have known Spider-Man forever. I guess, and there has been Spider-Woman as well. So I guess she sort of is... Uh, officially, she's Spider-Woman, but everybody calls her Spider-Gwen. Or at least I do. I, th I think it even says that like on her figure, because I have a figure of her from Marvel Legends, and I think it says Spider-Gwen. All right, maybe make that shoulder a little bit bigger. She's got a little bit more muscle up on her deltodes there. Made the head a little big, so we'll bring the chest out a little bit too there. All right, and we'll take this whole layer... What are we going to do? Down to 25%, everybody. Yeah. All right. And then we'll get the darker color and the hard pressure size and bring it down to 64. Erzuki said they called her Spider Woman in the movie. Oh, wait. Uh, Samurax, didn't she just get renamed Ghost Spider? I, in the comics, I have no idea. I'm not uh, up to date on that at all. Um, in the movie, they called her Spider Woman. And I think, like I said, I think that's what she goes by in her comic. I'm, I'm way behind on, on my marvel continuity um so i think yeah she is spider woman but she is gwen stacy from another universe and because i think like i said officially she's spider woman but a lot of in our world she's known as spider gwen in their world she's known as spider woman i think is how it breaks down but again i'm not an expert on this and i think again i think the reason she goes by Spider Gwen in our world is because there's been several Spider Women, so it's to avoid confusion since it is actually, you know, a business. <laughs> they want to make sure we know what character we're buying. Um, if she is Spider Woman, that makes her, I don't know, the third? Well, it makes her the third or fourth Spider Woman, but the others are all from our dimension and she's from another dimension, so she's the first in her dimension. Comics is confusing, kids. All right, and she's got her little nozzle. Hey, I'm Spider Gwen, Spider Woman. I got a nozzle. I use it to sniff things. Not too much. Made it a little bit too big. Be like that. That's a little better. And she's got a little bit of a kind of, what are you talking about, Joe? What are you talking about, Miles or Peter or a character actually in the movie? I don't think there's a character named Joe. What are you talking about, Spider Ham? What are you talking about? Nicolas Cage as Spider-Man Noir. <laughs> uh, they call her Spider-Man Dolly Girl, I'm sure. Yeah, well, me too, clearly. I, all I know is if you say Spider-Gwen, uh, uh, comic fans will know who you're talking about. If you say Spider-Woman, they'll be like, well, which one? And I think that's, like I said, that's why she's unofficially kind of become known as Spider-Gwen, despite her actually being called Spider-Woman. And I feel like this horse has been beat to death and then beat some more. So I'm going to stop. All right, I, th I was going to do two passes on this, but I think this will be enough, and then I'll throw a little color rather than tighten it up even more. I don't want to go crazy. I'm not going to publish this or nothing. It's got a nice pointy chin right there. Yosh. And we come back up in. Bloop. Put a little bit more on her eyelid there. Okay. And you kind of see a little bit of her teeth, and maybe her mouth is slightly open. 
Okay, and then we'll put a little zim zam kind of lines there. Right, now we're getting somewhere. And the part of the hair. And then this comes down, which is like a little bit wavy, so kind of like this, like a chunker just coming down the side right there. And then was uh, Samurai Ox says, I think Gwenum is my favorite spider design. I am only dimly aware of Gwenum. All, all the Venom verse, I read the the main book of the the Spider Verse comic, and I've seen the Spider Verse movie. Um, I know there's like a Venom verse thing going on, um, but I haven't read that at all. Uh, I probably will eventually because I did like the Spider Verse one. Um, and I've seen the designs for for Gwenum and a couple of the other, you know, Venom crossover infected i don't know the storyline but i've seen you know the alternate venoms i've seen some of them they look pretty cool but i don't know much about them i will eventually probably in like five years when everyone's forgotten about them i'm always so far behind on this stuff okay and then we'll, we'll and kind of i guess it's there's a line for her costume kind of comes up her neck a little bit so i'll draw the neck first and then the line for the costume there good and that oh and she's got a little the hood so I'll do a little indication of the hood, like so. And then the arm. And then on the arm, it's mostly white, but then it's cut in with a little spider design, which I'll put right there. And then chest, and then down. And she's got, it's again, mostly white, but then it's got black cut up into it. And under the armpit, still white. So this will all be black here. And then it comes up on the other side, like so. And it looks like there's a little bit of a design. Hold on. That's, this is black. There we go. Okay. Sometimes it gets confusing when you're drawing the outline of black, which is why sometimes you see artists put X's like that, so they know what's supposed to go there. Okay. And then she's got some hair in the background there, too. That eye on the right is bothering me. Or screen right, I should say. It's her left eye. Uh, Dolly gets it. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, and then I want to bring this out a little bit because her hair isn't covering quite as much as I originally thought. And now, see, now I like that eye and not the other one as much. What's that old saying? What's the hardest thing to draw? The, the other eye, the second eye. I get it. I see why they say that. But I don't want to redraw this 15 times here because it's supposed to be a quick old schedule. So what I will do is... Just scotch it down a little bit. Just scotch it. Scotch, 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 scotch. That's a little better. All right. Flawless, no. Good enough for continuation, yes. Oops. Deselect. Erase. Why can I not? There we go. Cool. I gave her a little bit too much eyelashes too, I think. But again, I'd rather put some color in than go a whole nother pass on the drawing, which I could easily do, but I will not. I'll mess up the hair a little bit more, a couple of flyaways. Let me zoom out a bit. Oh, I turn that off. Yeah, I think maybe I made her top of her head a little bit too tall. So I'm just gonna, oh, she is young though. So it's, the proportions are a little bit weird, but when you're trying to make someone look younger, they, they do have slightly different proportions than like a full grown woman. So it's, it's tough, but I think I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit like that. I think it'll be better. And then I'll erase this little part that flew over, and good to go. All right, I'll throw some quick color on here, and then we'll move on to next thing. So I'm just going to pick red as a random color to fill everything, and I'll just do a quick line around it all. Do 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 da do da. I am drawing Spider Gwen, who's got an undercut that's not a mohawk, but it is close enough. <laughs> I, I was really in danger of just singing that entire song. I've stopped myself for you. And I think what I'm going to do is, uh, after this, uh, I'm going to... I'll just keep doing... Yeah, it's 6.30. I think I'll just go right into another request rather than do my own thing. But I am going to pause and go get a soda. So I'll finish this, run downstairs, get a quick soda, come back up, and do another request. I got, I think, two or three in there now. But feel free to add more because, as I said, I'm going to come back and just do... Request right away. Request request a Rooney. All right, so this is white. And back down there. I always liked her suit design even before I like knew anything about her. I thought it was cool. The only weird thing is I don't I don't know the timeline. I guess it's supposed to be like more modern cuz like 
it's a very modern look. It's very, you know, so it's hard to think of like, oh, back in the 60s, this was, although I guess it kind of has a mod feel a little bit. I don't know. I haven't read the book. I haven't read her, her like origin story. So who knows? Maybe it makes perfect sense. And I don't actually, I don't care if it makes sense was the other point is I think it's cool looking regardless. All right. So we'll put that, that's not a hundred percent black, but it reminds me that I should duplicate this layer to make it darker. Hey, there goes Sani right down Gazbot Lane. Yeah. All right, merge down. Let's see. Oh, hydration bot. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Samurai Ox points out you should totally post this and tag this on social media. Uh, I mean, I'll put it on my Instagram or and or my Facebook like I usually do. And I I I don't know if I'll tag you. Maybe I will. Maybe. Uh, stay hydrated, bot. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, every hour it's like, hey, don't forget to drink. I did take a sip of water not too long ago, and I'm going to go get a soda in a minute. So I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, uh, what's it doing? White. Okay, so I duplicated that, so it's darker. Going back in with some white for her eyebows. Hi, eyebows, you're getting the white. You other eyebow, you're also getting the white. You know what else gets it? Little zubbies, little teethers. There she goes. All right, so she's got blonde hair with kind of brown underneath. So I'm going to basically make it all blonde and then go back and put in some dark underneath. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. Ah, ah, excuse me. I thought I wasn't going to sneeze. I'm like, what happened? I said I was going to sneeze, and then it finally blew out of my face. So, yeah, I'm going to make this all blonde to start. And then, oops, that should have been flesh tone, but I'll go back and fix that later. Then I'll go back in with the, the brown, like, under lights, not highlights, low lights, shadows, dirty ups, banana breaks. What? Okay. So there we go. No, no, no. Her face is not that color. I made a mistake. All right. What have I not sealed? Let's see. Right there. See how that's not sealed right there? I seal that with a kiss. Boop. There we go. Then I'll go ahead and put the red back in here as it should have been. Her skin will not stay red, but it makes it easier to see than if I was doing some beige or something closer. So now we'll go in to a beige skin tone. A little bit pinker. I think this will work. Let's see. Let us see. Cloop. Yeah, that works. Cloop and squibble. And she's got blue, blue eyes, blue green. Let me see here. It's actually kind of hard to tell. Whoa! We got a turkey lurkey in our midst. Lady Anale, thank you very much for the lurk. She is a turkey lurkey, and you can lurk like a turkey too. Ah, uh, da, 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 now I meant tag the spider verse. Oh, gotcha. So that they could laugh at my terrible interpretation of their lovely character. <laughs> All right, let me go back. Uh, if anybody knows her eye color definitively, shout it out in chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on some other stuff before I get to that because I I'm, I think it's blue, but it could be green, and I'm having trouble looking at the picture, and I don't want to sit here spending a lot of time looking it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it blue unless chat tells me otherwise. That's that's the stance I'm taking. So there comes, put a little brown in there. Doop, 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 doop. And then uh, pink. Oh, yeah, pink for her little eye arm thing. I made it black, but it was supposed to be pink. And then it has blue webbing, like so. There we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. That's what we always say. All right, and then I'll put a little bit of pink on her lips and her nose to make her look like a living being. A little bit there, a little bit there. Uh, yeah, maybe skip the nose. All right, so let me go. Samurai Ox is flipping a table and saying, I draw wonderfully. Well, I appreciate the compliment. But these are just, you know, these are quick old sketches. I'm not, uh, I don't know if I want to draw that much attention. Draw attention, get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, there's goes her blue, there's goes her blue eyes. I, yeah, maybe they're, they, maybe they're blue, but they're not quite so bright blue. Maybe, I'll, you know, here, I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to make this color. Sort of a gray, blue, green. It looks right, whatever color that is. All right, I'll just go ahead and throw some quick uh, highlights and shadows or whatever. Mainly on her hair, I want to put some real blonde highlights on her hair. That's the main thing. What's the main thing? The blonde highlights on the hair. Weren't you paying attention? No. Okay, well, thanks for being honest. All right, and I'll zoom out. I will, oops, zoom out more. Zoom out good zoom out good there we go some nice heavy shine on the blonde boats 
good enough food. And then I'll put a little bit of shadow on her face. Grab that. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna do cell shading, I'm actually using a, a flesh color instead of a black. But I will go back in and lighten this up in the opacity on the layer. <laughs> As is my want to do. It's it's uh, something I'm always doing. It's not a new trick, but it works. Doop 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 boop doop boop doop boop doop. It's about six thirty seven. So I definitely have time for one more request. Depending on how quickly I go or how easy it is, maybe two. I'm finishing this one up. I was going to put a highlight layer, but I, I think I'll just keep it to the shadow to make time for another one. All right. Yeah, there we go. And let me see if I take this whole thing down to 25. Eh, maybe 50. 50? Yeah, 50, and then I'll clean it up a little. Do, 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 do. 50% shadow with a cleanup crew. Yada da da yada do. That's better. I was, shouldn't have been connecting that. And I think I also have too much. Yeah, I just have too much in there. That's better. But I will connect this a little bit, and then that, and then in there. There, that works. And a little bit under here. Cool mode. Then I will do black for this part on the white. It will it'll become gray because I have the layer at 50%. Okay, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit uh, on her eyes, but I will go a lighter because it shouldn't be that dark. Same thing with the teeth, and I'm going to put a little bit on the lips. Just dark, no highlight. No highlight! Let's see what's going on. Uh, Diane Glitter, Bumblebee? Question mark. That's another one that I had in my uh, suggestion examples, so that's that's got a good uh, chance of being chosen. It's a good uh, suggestion. Thank you for that, Mrs. Glitter. Up a little bit of dark in the eyes. All right. I keep working on this forever, but I need to stop, so I will go ahead and just put a background color, especially since she's got all that white. She needs some other color, maybe like an orangey. Orangina. Let me grab a texture brush like this and make it real big. Coo -coo 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 -coo. My name is Spider Gwen. I'm really kind of cool. I got a haircut and you are a fool. That's she's not a rapper, but I, you know, if she was, I'd be happy to write her lyrics. Oops, what the butt? 25, I said. There we go. And then a little bit more. No, 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 no. And then we'll bring that to 25. Goots. And good enough for done. So we'll save this as S. Gwen. S. Gwen. And then we'll erase all these in preparation for the next one, which I will say what I'm going to do when I get back. I'll be back in just about a minute. I'm going to get a soda. All right. So I'm going to take off my headphones, put that to side. Let's go get a drink. Come on. I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna go downstairs. Is this live? <laughs> no, it's pre-recorded, but it feels live, doesn't it? Well, we're just gonna walk through here. It looks like I got a little schmutz on the camera. It's, it's giving me kind of a faded, like, dreamy effect, but I think that's just because I sweated and my ear touched it. But we're going down the stairs and I got the Christmas lights. It's kind of dark, you know, because the lights aren't on, but it's not quite dark out. Uh, it's, it's the correct time. This is not the most interesting thing, but this is reality. This is what happens. I might have gone to the bathroom. I might have fed the cats, but no, typically what I'm doing is coming downstairs, going to the fridge, and getting a soda. Usually, Coke Zero caffeine free. So I would get this, and then I'd turn around. Man, I'm getting some crazy effects that, that look like a spaceship or a soul of God blasting out of the fridge. But no, it was just a regular light. And we're heading back up the stairs now, ya ta ta. And then we're gonna get back to the computer. And hopefully this video will be roughly real time so that when I get back, I'll just plug right back in and be like, hey, here I am, never having missed a step. Now the problem is I have some holiday decorations up, so this can only work for the next week or two, three, I don't know, we'll find out. But look, here I am back in my office. And I'm getting ready to sit back down at my desk. Ah, put this little guy right here. Put my headphones back on. Pull this back around, and go. Okay, we're back. How's that? Got my soda. I'm all set to go. I hope you enjoyed that little trip. Oh, there comes Santa. He joined us. 
So let's see what I miss here. Thank you, we're saying Bumblebee. Abe Sapien, welcome, Abe. MD Foya. Okay, stupid phone, he says. Dang glitter, nice. Uh, MD Geist. Oh, okay. The haze is the Barbara Walters filter. Nice. Uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the, uh, the little trip you took with me. <laughs> I hope, uh, I, I'm, I think it synced up pretty well, which surprises me. See, sometimes I fail by, like, putting in commands that fill it with ch the chat with garbage, but sometimes it succeed with little videos. All right, so I got my soda run. Now, let me see. I'm going to jump in. So we had Warhammer guy, we had Bumblebee. I mean, Bumblebee is pretty tempting too. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna do Bumblebee. I'm sorry. I just, I, I saw Spider Verse like a week ago, and I saw Bumblebee yesterday. So they're, they're fresh in my head. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Bumblebee from the new movie. And in the movie, he has uh, like a shield, a battle shield that comes down that looks like a metal bee. And I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I'm, I'm pulling up reference on the right right now. Oops. Oh, nope. Bumble. That's funny. It came up Bumble like the uh, Abominable Snowman from the Rankin Bass Christmas special, which is not what I meant. Bumble B. Okay. Now I just got to find the helmet I'm looking for. Let's see. Um, helmet? Bumble B helmet? Movie. Bumble B helmet movie. I'm great at searching. <laughs> Tang oh, wait. Hold on. Let's say uh, Tac Ops. Is the new one good? Wanted to see it. I liked it. It's very different from the other Transformers movies. I love Transformers. I'm a G1 80s guy. I, I liked Transformers Prime, which was one of the more recent cartoons. I was not a big fan of the other Transformers movies. The first one I liked the best, and I feel like they just got worse and worse as they went. I didn't really love any of them. This movie is my favorite Transformers live action movie by far. But it's not for everybody. It's got some really cool Transformers like fighting action, but it's got a lot of um, palling around. It feels like an 80s you know, buddy comedy, like, oh, look, we met E.T., and there's a lot of comedy kind of stuff like that, which I like, but it's not for everybody. So if you're looking for the standard Michael Bay stuff, you might not like it. But that's not what I wanted, so I did like it. <laughs> um, man, I'm having a really hard time finding the Bumblebee face mask here. I could find it, but it's cropped. Here, let me. Sh I'll do. I'll show you what I'm looking at here. I might just have to do it cropped. Oops. I know. Stop. Okay. This is this is the mask I'm talking about. But oops, I squashed it. But most of the reference is like this, where it's kind of cropped. So I, I probably will have to fake it a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time looking for the perfect reference or anything. But um, I do think it's a, a decent movie. Like if some people are like, it's horrible. It's the worst Transformers movie ever made. I think that's ridiculous because it's not a bad movie. It might not be for everybody. Fair enough. But it's not terrible. And, and it definitely, again, has a very adventure 80s vibe to it. Oh, oh, I think I just found a better reference. I did. Okay. I just have to save the... Oh! Nope. That was a video. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. <clears throat> So, uh, Samurai says, so much Jew and goodness. Seeing Optimus as the cab over was great. Same, for, Yeah, agreed. I uh, haven't seen a single Transformers movie, Dolly. Well, maybe this is the one for you then. Uh, Attack Ops, yeah, I haven't seen any of the newer ones. Samurai Ox, also there's Jovi's Runway in the movie also. I don't remember what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, my nephew, Dolly Girl, my nephew just saw it and liked it. Dolly Girl, you need to see the, the first one at least. I, I recommend Bumblebee over the first one. It's actually a prequel. It's set in the 80s, so... Time-wise, it makes sense. All right, but once again, I'm spending too much time trying to find the perfect reference here, so I'm just going to open this up. Okay. Oh, all the best images I find are still, like, thumbnails for videos, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with it because I can't keep waiting. So I'm going to use a thumbnail for a video as my main reference here. But, yeah, no, I, I very much enjoyed the movie. Uh, it... It's also, again, because I didn't really love the other movies, it had a lower um, bar, you know, kind of like with Star Wars. Like, I didn't really like the prequels that much. So Force Awakens, when it came out, it just had to be good, and I'd really like it. And I feel like that it was similar with that with Bumblebee. Like, it didn't have to be the best movie ever as long as it was – if I liked it, it was going to be a big win, you know, and I liked it, so – uh, and there is action in it. Like, the first – like, you know, like Ox was saying, there's, like, some crazy – you know, Cybertron fighting action in the beginning, and then they flash back a little bit, but the bulk of the movie is on 80s Earth. 
I have have heard some people say though that even though they didn't love the movie, like they're like, oh, the the first you know ten minutes is worth the movie alone. Which I don't know if I agree with that, but I see what they're saying that like they they enjoyed the first part so much that they didn't care that they didn't like the rest of it or whatever. I think um, Diane Glitter. I think Diane Glitter would like it very much, uh, from what I know of her tastes. All right, so kind of do a quick little sketch. Here. What time are we at here? All right, so we're not doing too bad. I'll definitely finish this up. I don't know if I'll have time for another. Maybe like a really quick, easy one I could do, but not nothing too complicated. No promises. We'll see how long this one takes. Because I realize as I'm doing it, like it's a it's a movie transformer, and they're a lot more detailed than the G1 kind of transformers. Um, let's see, Simriox, Bon Jovi's song, Runaway, when she's working it. Oh, oh, okay, got you. Yeah, there was a lot of cool 80s music cues. I thought Jovi's Runway was like something on Cybertron, like, like, oh, look, it's Jovi's Runway. Back, you know, that famous story where Cliff Jumper and Wheeljack took it to, you know, like, so I thought I was missing out on some Transformers lore. But uh, it was New Jersey rocker lore that I was missing out on, which is just as bad since I'm from New Jersey. But all right, so we're going to bring this 100, bring the opacity 75, yes, and then 55, okay. So the eyes, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to look at a different, well, no, I'll keep going. I need a better look at the eyes, but I, I don't want to keep switching. I, I'm having trouble finding like one good reference. I'm sort of flipping between several, but again, time being a factor, I need to stop doing that. So I'll just continue doop, 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 as I go. Uh, Diane Glitter laughing at me appropriately. Dolly Girl Bon Jovi is good. Yeah, no, I like Bon Jovi. I'm not against Bon Jovi. I just wasn't getting the the reference that was being made. I mean, I grew up living on a prayer, you know. I was shot through the heart. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I was riding on a steel horse, you know. I watched Young Guns too, and owned the soundtrack <laughs> that he did. That's the funny part is that, like, he's, Bon Jovi and his band or whatever are known for, like, so much other stuff. The only album I ever owned was the Young Guns 2 soundtrack, which is... I don't know how well it's thought of in his, like, bigger piece of work, but that was, like, that was Bon Jovi to me. Shot down in a blaze of glory and, and such. All right, so this, he's got the Autobot symbol, and then this kind of comes up like so. Yeah, this is, this was probably a mistake picking this one. This should have been, like, a, an early evening one, not a late evening one, because uh, it's going to be hard to get all these details correct the first time out i'll definitely uh i'll definitely throw in some yellow just to make sure people know it's bumblebee at the end <laughs> samurai ox best stream ever <laughs> well you know they say when you're brought into this world they say you're born in sin but at least the game is something i didn't have to steal have to win yeah so there you go that's that's my there's some jovi for you jovi all right, so then we got some lines going up like this. When we were, um, Erzuki and I went to the Philippines for a friend's wedding, and uh, it was you know mostly Filipino people, but then there was a small contingent of Americans for the groom side there. And at the the you know the reception, I don't know if some I guess somebody requested it. I'm not sure, but basically, "Living on a Prayer" was on, and most of us were from New Jersey, so it was all like "Woo, living on a prayer," and like. We were all like, you know, rocking out like idiots, and uh, a lot of the other people that were from the Philippines were just kind of staring at us, like, "Oh, good, they, I guess they like this song." <laughs> like... <laughs> all right, so he's got these little antenna, kind of. Oh, they are antenna because he's like a bumblebee. I didn't even think of that. I see like ear little flap things in the movie, which I like because they're they kind of like the tick. They indicate mood and stuff. They had like, alt they were good for, since he couldn't speak, you know, it, it showed his emotion and, and when he was thinking and stuff, but it only now occurs to me that, you know, bumblebees have antennas and he's bumblebee and it's an antenna and derp, you know, <laughs> I don't always catch on to things quickly or even slowly. I don't always catch on to things ever, but when I do, it takes too long. All right. So then he's got those gym jams. He's kind of got an upper lid over it like that. Okay. Not too shab. Dang glitter. Bzz. Samurai Ox, beep boop, I'm so pleased. <laughs> Thanks for your uh, little Gazbot pleased emote there. I know it's not actually a Gazbot, but, you know, it's a bot and I'm a Gaz and it's my stream, so I'm calling it a Gazbot. Why not? All right, so this kind of comes out and up. I'm going to floop that and floop that. 
and then he's got kind of a triangle that comes in like this on both sides. But then there's another piece kind of connecting them in here. I'm definitely getting some of this, uh, for lack of a term, anatomy wrong. But I think it's passable. Some kid wouldn't know the difference. Some kid would be like, oh my gosh, that's, a, that's the real bumblebee. And I'd be like, no kid, there's so many errors. You sicken me. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that to children. Luckily, it's not a real children. It's a fake one I made up in the story. Okay, so they've got a little bit here. And I feel like that's most of the helmet. There's some more detail. Oh, wait, there's this kind of piece here. And then there's the Autobot symbol here, I think, but you can barely see it. So I'm not going to go too crazy, like, making it perfect. We'll see how good of an Autobot symbol I could do just out of my head. I think I could do okay if I keep it basic like that. And the fact that it's going to be yellow, not red. Yeah, it looks like a mush, but it's it's in the ballpark of being okay. I'm going to take a sip of soda here. That sip was of soda. Okay, so I think the... The reference picture I have right now, well, I don't want to give spoilers. It's it's a certain, doesn't matter. I, yeah, I, I can't talk about it without giving spoilers, so I will not talk about it. Um, but I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to keep it to this one pass, and then I'll throw the color in, and that'll help make it more bumblebeer. And this stuff in here, I'm really faking. Like, there's a bunch of gears and pistons and hydraulics and wires and stuff, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I know what they look like. Sure, this is good enough. I'll put some black gears and some gray gears and then some yellow on top and it'll that'll be good enough and i think it is passable but if i tried to make it accurate it would it would get crazy although you can kind of see his wheels here so i'll do that just the top of it and a little bit of tread and actually there'd be some tread on this one as well i, I shouldn't say this one it's wider there's several tread that's not because it made it look like a, a tire that was really skinny which was not my intent uh, but I did, oops, I did miss, there's supposed to be some connective tissue here, kind of like by the, where the ear would be on a human, like that. Okay. And then just a little bit more yellow back there. Okay, and so we'll put a little bit more guts and mechanical pieces. And then once again, this will be like a yellow panel for like the shoulder or whatever. And then some more pipes and hydraulics and such and such. And then the other tire up here, darken that in. Let's see. Uh, I messed up the shape of that a little bit. No problem. I can fix it like so. All right. And then we'll put all the treads there. That's a little bit better. Kind of like arrows. And then that's the side of it. And I'll just put a little bit of dark on there and a little bit of dark on there. And a couple of detail. Let me see if I turn this down to 10. All right. Not too shabby. Um, I think... There's definitely detail on the eyes, but I'm going to do that in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and color now, because otherwise I'm going to go crazy trying to make this accurate, and I won't succeed. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's grab a nice yellow. It's mostly yellow, but like a little hint of orange. Even when he's like a Camaro or whatever and not like a Volkswagen bug, he still usually has that color scheme going. So... Once again, I'm just going to make it all yellow to start, and then we'll cut in some colors after. Let me see. Time. It's 5 to 7. Yeah, I, this might be the last one. I, I, we might not have time for another one tonight, unfortunately. But we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. I answer for myself. <laughs> it's possible you didn't, and that's okay, too. All right, so blue eyes. Yes, we'll make these blue. And I think the main thing I'm going to go back and do is put detail in these eyes because they have kind of like a honeycomb prism -y thing, kind of like Ultraman has, although obviously it's supposed to be like Bumblebee, like a honeycomb. All right, let's see anything in chat. Nope, everybody's content. Actually, let me do a quick refresh because sometimes chat doesn't update. So let me refresh the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't believe I did, so good. Uh, oh, I have a window open. I didn't mean to have open. Where is it? Come on, window. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. I accidentally covered up my reference. And I'm back looking at my reference. Okay. So we'll do a sort of light gray. And that'll be for this piece on his helmet. And for in here. Oops. I missed some yellow somehow. Let me fix that. Boop. 
So do all the light grays first, and then we'll go in with a darker and maybe a lighter on top of that. But this will be like the base coat color for everything that isn't yellow. It will be this sort of medium gray. Okay, and then that there, but not the tire, because the tire definitely has to be a different color. Oops, even though I just colored right into it. That, and then this part up here. Okay, and then, oh, this stuff back here. Get out of here. Fill that in. All right, I think that's all the... Oh, no, he does have on his eye, too. Like that. And that, does it go on the bottom as well? A little bit. All right, well, you know, it does go a little on the bottom, but I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of gray in here as well, but I'm just, uh, I didn't draw it, but I'm just going to color it like that. Okay, and then we'll go into the more dark, and we'll make that for the tires. That might be too dark, actually. Yeah, can't really see any of the detail. But I could duplicate, well, you know, hold on, let me get rid of that and duplicate this. Duplicating layers is what we do. Eh, it doesn't really fix it because it's red. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select that layer, and then I'm going to grab a gray color and color those lines in gray so it'll be gray detail on top of black, so it should help pop it out a little bit more. And We'll see if that works. For the tires, I mean. Okay. Eh, not, not exactly what I was going for, but readable. It's readable. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dolly says, I'm so glad I made it. These are some good sketches. Well, thanks, Dolly. I'm glad you made it, too. And I appreciate that you're enjoying the sketches. Let me go back to there. Maybe I'll do a little bit like that. That's better. If I seal it with a darker line on the outside, it makes the inside light lines better. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase. Where did I put that? Right along there. And along there. Okay, so what am I missing? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a darker gray. And we will select gray so I don't accidentally hit any of the other colors. Not contiguous, so that's all gray. And then we'll do the dark. Doop, doop, doop. I'll just sort of fill in like. It could be the, the piece of machinery is colored dark, but it could also just be it's dark because it's recessed into other stuff. So it's sort of like half and half like of what the part color should be and a little bit of shading as well. Like that and in here. And then I'll do the same thing, but I will do a highlight. So I'll grab the gray and make a lighter gray. And same thing, it's it's partially a highlight, partially what kind of machine parts are those, etc. Okay, a little bit there and a little bit there. And... Good. Okay. So now we will do, actually, you know what? I need to put some darkness on those treads I put up because it's a little bit too much there. There we go. Just put a little shadow in it. Yeah, I, I like the technique I was going for, but it's something that I have to experiment and spend a little more time on that I don't have right now. So I'm just kind of best efforting it. Okay. Oh, the eyes. I want to make sure to get the honeycomb eyes, so let me go ahead. Is this shadow? No. Where's shadow? I made a shadow layer, I'm sure of it. There's the highlight layer. Where's the shadow layer? Oh, I just did the shadow layer on the same. Okay, so we'll do that then. I, I didn't. I thought I had three layers, but I only had two. My mistake, everyone. My mistake. All right, so go in with some honeycomb. And we're kind of faking this. Like, it should be an actual precise sort of shape, but I'm kind of faking it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some dark and then I'm going to do some light as well to kind of simulate how it's a honeycomb area on the eyeballs or the optics, I should say, being that it's transformers. I'll bring that down to 75 and then we'll do a highlight layer as well on top. Wait, is that the same layer? No. Okay. And then I'll put a little bit of really bright white to like show that he's like got a glow and an eye. Uh, like a life spark, as it were, since he's a transformer. It's a spark, I suppose. All right. And then, yeah. Like that. All right. We'll, call it, we'll bring that down to 75. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And we'll bring that down to 75. 
Cool. Now I'll just put a little bit of uh, shading and highlight on the yellow, and we can call this Jambone Dunzo. I'm gonna take a sip. Hey, Santa! One last time for the evening. Thanks for stopping by there, buddy. Dan Glitter, this sketch is very engrossing. Well, I, I good. You requested it, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right, so I got to do a shadow, and I'll add a little bit more orange to the shadow layer. The shadow layer. And I'm normally I would use a brush, but I'm keeping it on pencil because since it's metal, we want it to have more of a hard edge to everything. So I'll do that. And I'm going to pretend that the light source is kind of coming from the top right, like this area. So I'm doing the shading in accordance with that logic. At least somewhat. I mean, there's always the possibility there's alternate light sources, but it's good to have kind of a rough idea where the shadow and light lie. Okay. And a little bit in here as well. Don't forget about these pieces. They're part of him too. They're the yellow of his front. <laughs> the yellow of his front. Okay, a little bit underlined there. Do, 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 do. All right, good. And then I'll do, uh, actually, I'll bring that down to 75. And then I will do a highlight layer, same thing. I'll do a little bit brighter than I normally would and a little bit starker than I normally would because we want it to shine like, you know, that's theoretically it's like a car material, you know, that is now his face and his arms and stuff. So although he isn't super polished and perfect like a normal, you know, race car or whatever it would be, it's still that sort of shiny metal painted enamel. You know, it's not whatever it is in our world, it's not in his world, but it has to simulate that because, you know, robots in disguise and all that. All right, and then I'll put a little bit of white for this. Oops, hold on. Put a little bit of white on here. Nope, I can't. I can't do that because it's on a different layer. So I'll just bring this down to 75. And then I'm going to go one more layer up on top, and I'm gonna. this is going to be the white layer where I'll put, like, the super highlights. Again, which I wouldn't, like, do on a, a flesh and blood person, but because it's supposed to be this high polish metal color sports whatever <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the real materials are i, I want to say enamel but i don't think that's right enamel paint maybe on top of fiberglass i guess okay and i'll even well, i'll take this all down to 75 and then i'll put a little bit on here but this i'm gonna have to bring down a lot more this is not gonna be the same thing i just wanted a little bit of a highlight here i'm gonna take this down to 25 that's better. Okay, and then I'll do some background color, and then we could be done. Dang Glitter, great. Thank you. Thank you, Dang Glitter. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm going to put a background of what? Green, maybe? Purple? Purple. We'll do a base. Actually, here, we'll do it like this. We'll do a base purple, and then I'll go ahead in and soften that out a little bit. Now, I will use a brush as opposed to a hard pencil or something like that there we go because uh he's so hard that i could put soft in the background it'll work better but i'm going to take that down to 25 and i'll do it again but with a even lighter color and i'll bring that down to 25 and i'll do it one more time with almost pure white but i'll keep it mostly on this side now a little bit right there and then I'll bring that down to 50. Yeah, actually 25. <laughs> All right. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to put the pure white on his eye. Right there. Where is it? Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit extra pure white on his eye. Just like boop, 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 boop. There we go. So let's see. I think he's about done. Save as. B, B, and we're a little bit over, so that's fine. I started a little bit late. I'm getting ready to wrap up here. So actually, I'm going to try, I have I have a credit box that I haven't set up, but let's see what happens if I turn it on. Uh, great. Dolly Girl, love passion for, oh, thanks, Dolly. Dying glitter. Adamantium. <laughs> yeah, adamantium. Uh, I don't think I configured my credits properly. Thanks, Samurai Ox. Samurai says, the credits have been great. I appreciate that. I'm going to quick move this to the side. I need to configure the credits for next time so that I could give lots of proper thanks. But I do give you my verbal thanks, if nothing else. Verbally, I thank you all. I thank you for the lurks. I thank you for the requests, for the chat, for the compliments, 
for the, the bits, for the follows, the subs, the shares, the everything. You're all good people, and I enjoy being near you in this time of art. I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, Twitch channel so that as I wrap up, I can send you over to raid someone else's channel, as we like to do. You don't have to stay there, of course, but I appreciate if you at least stay until we send the raid. Maybe send them a lurk or throw them an emote just to let them know we care. So let me see who's on right now. Uh, do we have an art person? We do have an art person. Let's see. Jay Hansen Art. So we'll send we'll send it over to Jay Hansen Art. Jay Hansen. Assuming I could spell it correctly. Underscore Art. Ray Johansson Art. Okay, so I'm going to see if I did this right. I don't have permission to perform that action. Good. Okay. Oh, because I'm on Airzuki's channel. I'm the worst. Every time I try to do this, I, everyone's like, okay, well, we're bored. We're leaving. And I don't blame you because this is not as smooth as it could be. I think every week I get a little bit better, a little more tech savvy, a little bit smoother. Uh, so that in another three years, it'll be like a real professional show. All right. Jay Hansen underscore art let's see if it works this time it did work okay so in about 10 seconds we're going over there in the meantime i'm going to say thank you all and this is gazbot and you know what that means i'm powering down